Hi, following the release of videos featuring ION engines, my ION propelled boat and airship, I received numerous comments from viewers suggesting alternations to the ION engine design. In this video we'll be experimenting with some of these proposed changes. One idea was to position the ION engine inside a pipe to achieve a more directed airflow. To evaluate this I cut a segment from an acrylic pipe facilitating better observation and fine-tuning of the engines. After smoothing the edges of the acrylic pipe, I integrated the ion engines from my previous ion boat video. A boat was soldered onto the copper part of the ion engine, allowing the use of a neodymium magnet to fine-tune the position of the copper pipe within the acrylic pipe. Subsequently, I conducted a preliminary test run and adjusted the distance between the anode and cathode using the magnets. While I previously utilized a wind meter, the readings often became inaccurate due to ions interference with electronics. Instead, I now utilize a candle to visually observe the airflow. To explore further, I connected the two pipes with the engines in series to evaluate improvements, and indeed there was a notable enhancement. Encouraged by this success, I proceeded to construct a third engine using an acrylic pipe similar to the other two. I attached a third engine to the existing two and conducted further testing. The end result proved successful with added styrofoam to the pipe testing the ion wind's capability to push it out. Concerns have been raised about high voltage potentially producing X-rays as mentioned by Electroboom in one of his videos. To investigate, I attempted to measure any admitted X-rays through several tests. I could not detect any X-rays unless the Geiger counter was placed very close. The readings then became notably high, likely caused by ions affecting the Geiger counter similar to the wind meter inaccuracies in previous experiments. For those with additional insights on this matter, please comment below. I'm planning to build a more powerful ion engine soon, so consider subscribing if you want to see that. Your comments and insights are highly appreciated and I'll be incorporating them into future experiments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.